Hello. Okay, in a previous video, I had talked briefly about the nautical aesthetic. Um, this being midwinter, some of you are still experiencing a lot more weather and you're not changing out of your <laughs> uh, black parkas yet, just yet, or whatever. Um, but there is a simple aesthetic as i alluded to back in one of the first three videos maybe all of them uh you know that if you're not big on earth tones you know one of your other obvious kind of go-to's will be more of you know blues and grays i uh have i guess more of a slide show with less show and tell in this one this was actually supposed to be video number 16 um so it wasn't like this wasn't planned and i'm just kind of getting around to it a little later than anticipated because i shuffled in some other topics or whatever um but basically you know you have different different types of nautical books you know if you're if you're coming at it from again pre-planned clothing choices uh obviously here we have plaid shirt that is you know possibly still considered you know kind of a cabin look or whatever but also has you know kind of a red white and blue aesthetic so it can you know go to a you know a nautical look no you know not all the nautical looks are you know strictly yuppie um which again is something we'll, we'll come back to more this particular episode we'll be dealing a little bit more with um not necessarily historical evolution but just practical menswear i guess um i mean you know if you you know if you watch you know say like perfect storm or deadliest catch or something i mean you see a lot more guys who are you know just wearing work clothes it's you know it's just a job but you'll also get kind of a what they do on land isn't, you know, all boat related. So you get kind of a lot of kind of cowboy aesthetic and biker aesthetic that, you know, is not traditionally nautical, like at all. But what is nautical for their job is, you know, a rubber slicker and rubber boots. You're, you know, you're not wearing that as, you know, day wear in, you know, on land very much either. <laughs> you know, so it's kind of like, well, you know navigate that how you will but obviously if we're coming at this from more of a how to not just wear work wear in you know your casual daily activities you know you want to you know dress up a little bit more for this reason or that reason you know nautical and and uh work wear aren't you know necessarily always I'm going to work for that i i have one picture in here where it is a little bit more of a yuppie look where i have a a window pane shirt with like an anchor tie so it's maybe a little busy if you wanted to kind of tamp that down you could put on a you know a, a navy sweater vest and hide most of the the patterns kind of thing but again that's basically just a blazer or a sport coat and some some of the hats i had to you know go with the over the top version of the hat because otherwise you know it doesn't look <laughs> it doesn't, uh one and again another one of the pictures one year for halloween i wanted to do uh, more like uh starbuck from moby dick and most people were just asking if i was a limo driver because you know they didn't get that it was a fisherman hat you know and if there's already a grumpy you know guy <laughs> in your village or whatever who wears the the Greek sailor hat and the pea coat? You know, you might have to tweak yours a little bit, or you know, you have to duke it out to see who wins. I don't know. <laughs> That's not usually how I choose my wardrobe. And of course, the white the white navy hat is almost you know used to be kind of like a universal kind of kid look. I think like Charlie Brown cartoons, they would always kind of show the kid wearing you know, going off to summer camp in a little sailor hat, but, you know, in, you know, real life, everyday kid play. I don't remember ever seeing very many kids with that. 
I mean, when I grew up, you know, if I want to, you know, bring nostalgia into the thing, I mean, I kind of had this, like, Southern California was kind of more the surf vibe, and San Francisco was more kind of the sailing vibe, and I didn't have, um, you know, I didn't know anything about hippies or any of that kind of thing. Like, I was, you know, you know, I was thinking more along the lines of, like, you know, what the fog and the Navy and that kind of thing, you know, like San Francisco had this kind of, like it was one of the few West Coast places that maybe had that Atlantic sailing, you know, mystique to it, you know, kind of like the, you know, the whole Boston Harbor thing <laughs> and all that, Nantucket and whatnot. Um, insert Billy Joel song here. Um, <laughs> so, and I, some of the things that I would like to show, I don't know if they are copyrighted things or not. And so I'm kind of reluctant to, you know, in, include my Popeye postcard because I don't know if it'll flag that or how this works when you insert certain images. But obviously, like the movie Popeye, they tried to make look a little bit more like the original cartoon Popeye costumes more than the Popeye Navy costumes because once World War II came around, Popeye instantly wore, you know, the white middies and things and the white cap and all that kind of thing. So again, if, you know, if you were a little kid, you, you, you know, after 1950 or whatever, you were more associating Popeye with the Navy than with just the grumpy, you know, old merchant Marine or whatever. So the, his look changed. And, you know, like I said, I don't, like I said, I don't remember seeing too many kids running around in white sailor hats or Davy Crockett raccoon hats either. You know, <laughs> that was kind of a, you, you saw it on Charlie Brown and said, ah, where do I get that? You know, Disneyland maybe. Um, so obviously when you get into, you know, day wear with the stuff, if you're not, you know, flannel shirts, the next, you know, step is, you know, obviously the denim shirt. And I've just grabbed a couple that are still in the bag here because the lighter color denim shirt obviously tends to get considered more of a cowboy look until it fades. And I have a picture which shows, you know, pretty faded. But then once they get that faded, you're kind of doing the South Pacific World War II look all over again. So you almost feel like you should be wearing the white hat because, you know, what it's it's just a blue shirt at that point, kind of, you know, in, in some senses whereas like a dark denim one you're going to get a little less fading a little more true maybe sailor look uh when i was a kid of course the dark denim was not the cool denim that's why i always had the dark denim that never faded or shrank or anything and i was you know considered uncool now that's all the rage and you have to spend you know 200 bucks for a pair of jeans and I, I refuse to spend that for a pair of jeans, but of course I can find cheap ones that are kind of a dark wash and they look better, I think, overall than the more faded indigo. Um, but, you know, denim for me is kind of the wrong fabric for most of the year because it's not quite warm enough for the cold and it's not, you know, it's too warm for the, the heat. And it's not usually thick enough. So, you know, I'd rather have a Levi's jacket or something for a chore coat than just a denim shirt. But, of course, um, going back to the pilot thing and some other things, you know, obviously, you know, they used to put Joe Hackett in the denim shirt once in a while. But he was wearing usually more the brown leather flight jacket than a sport jacket. So I see people try to do, you know, like a denim shirt with a sport coat. And I just don't usually think that works at all. It's like, no, that's a work shirt that's a sport coat. <laughs> it's too different. You're not going for a rugged, casual office hybrid. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. It's not for me. Uh, so basically literally denim shirts for me are work shirts. Chambray shirts on the other hand, which, you know, is technically also a Navy shirt. Uh, chambray shirt does bridge that gap much better. You know, it's office casual, but it's also a work shirt. It's also good for warm weather. It's, similar to a canvas shirt, which I usually wear more because they're a little more durable, but they don't dress up as much. So it kind of depends on, you know, da, da, da. Uh, so a chambray shirt and obviously 
uh, those will come in various shades of blue or gray too. So, you know, you can adjust your hue to match your, you know, vibe or whatever. And of course, instead of dark wash jeans, then you can switch out for the navy chinos or even cargo pants if you, you know, <laughs> really want more of a work look. You know, again, depending, you know, if you, by merely switching from either jeans or cargo pants, though, to the, the, the pleated chinos, you've automatically turned, you know, chinos in a chambray shirt into a dressier outfit, even though you're still just wearing blue and blue. So that's, you know, that's kind of, and you can add a tie, you know, so that's kind of a, a way you can be nautical, which is very subtle, because again, this is just one of the laziest looks in a sense. I mean, you know, it's like, you know, just pre-planning, hey, I want all my laundry to be done, you know, blue, done. <laughs> yeah. And uh, again, you know, if there's already that other guy who's kind of cornered the market, you, 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 you can tweak it and work around it. Obviously, I show um, a bunch of sweaters. For accessories, you know, you can maybe try and do brown. A lot of guys try and do brown with blue now. I would, if you're going for nautical, I think black works better. Uh, obviously, plaids are going to work slightly less good than solids. But in the middle, of course, we have slight, <laughs> yeah, almost anything with stripes. <laughs> you know, stripes. <laughs> stripes and then again i'm sticking with blue here although i have some pictures of some white some kind of white ones um i don't need to talk for five hours about stripes <laughs> but those again are all casual shirts or undershirts depending on how you wear them i have a couple of the uh the kind of russian navy ones with the scoop neck you know like the picasso look or whatever i I find very little occasion to actually wear them. The real ones have more of a jersey or a, like a fleece interior. And so they're, they're a little bit warmer, but then they're meant to be worn skin tight, which doesn't look right. So you have to, you know, get an oversized one and then it looks kind of frumpy, blah, blah, blah. So, eh. um, whereas the, the regular ones that they tend to look more like Bohemian painter or mime now. So, too many other looks have stolen from the nautical look that the nautical look doesn't look like the nautical look anymore so your results may vary um yeah it's kind of a kind of the trick there and um what i will say about white you know the, the rule of you know no white after labor day was not really necessarily a sailing rule or whatever but yeah you know like i said in the previous summer along the line you know it, it became you know if you were in warm temperature or summer or whatever you know the the navy wore white and then in the cold you wore the blue and the black well that still kind of rings true but for me being in california labor day is like we still got at least a month of hot i'm still wearing white or khaki more like well until Halloween no white after Halloween <laughs> you know maybe no khaki after Halloween maybe some khaki after Halloween but not so much white um and so when I revisit this topic in the you know the spring or coming toward summer uh, you know obviously we're not just going to focus on just wearing white even though that would also save time <laughs> but uh you know in the meantime you know again red you could still work in red in the winter i guess i don't know uh, i meant to uh i meant to show off some kind of uh some of the rugby shirts and things come in kind of blue and green and that's a more preppy look but that's also a ca you know a casual look not a not a uh very dressy look so i decided to save those also until until spring and we'll come back <laughs> 